Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Versatile. Welcome back to another GTA Online video. And today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make military outfits. Now, I have four examples right here. We have the fall camo, brown digital, peach, and arctic. So I'm going to go through these. Uh, I'm going to go through these and how to make these. And that's how to make your own custom ones. But first, if you guys don't feel like doing all of this or buying all the stuff, you can go to the Kale Perico Heist, go to the Grassland Armor. Excuse me. And there are four options for you. Right here. So that's for people who don't really want to do all that, all the creating and everything. But for any of you who do want, who do want that, um, let's start with the fall one. So, cargo pants, you have the fall cargo. You have the fall plate carrier right here. And all the way in service shirts. You have the fall service shirt. Fall tactical gloves. I know I'm going to the boots, but we have the fall rubberized boots right here. And over here, fall tactical gloves. And fall tactical goggles. Now, the goggles and masks are optional. Also, I think, let's see what the mask is called. Let's see. Accessories. The mask is called the Desert Camel Spec D. And lastly, you have the combat helmet right here. Fall quad lens. Now, I'll set the, I put it in, I put quad lens on here because it'll be more useful, especially when fighting and you probably use thermals. So you better just have them on or have a thermal scope on your gun. Pretty much uh, brown digital right here. What you need for this outfit is that you need brown digital cargo, brown digital plate carrier. We have that in colors. Next will be the brown digital service shirt. Made it. Right here. And since I couldn't put, I just put on the mono rubberized boots couldn't find really one that kind of matches a lot so just put on the black boots by default we have the gloves brown digital tactical i like tactical more than armor i just think it looks better on the outfit and lastly what we have here is the brown digital riot and the mask is, you know, it's always a black ski. I think it's a, it's a black tight ski. Like I said, the mask is optional for the outfit. This looks more like a riot control one. But I personally, I like this one the most personally because everything goes together. Everything fits in this outfit. Similar to, the, to, similar to everything we have here. Everything kind of fits right here. So now we go on to this one, which is the peach camo. So you will need the peach camo cargo, the peach camo plate carrier, and the peach camo service shirt. Right here. For the for the boots, I actually went a bit different. We're gonna use the desert tactical boots in this outfit. Next thing we have here is the Peach Camo Tactical Gloves. Now the glasses are optional, but I do have the black retro round glasses. And lastly, we have the berets. Peach Camo Beret. Now the reason I did that is because um, 
There's no Peach Camo Combat Helmet. It's Peach Digital, but not Peach Camo itself. And I think there might be a Riot Helmet, but personally, I don't really... Yeah, I don't think there's a Riot Helmet that's Peach Digital either. No, there is not. So we're gonna keep the beret on. But as I think the beret can be optional. And lastly, we have like an Arctic spec. So everything on here is white. Basically, light gray, large cargo. We have the ice plate carrier and we have the white service suit. We have the rubberized boots. I believe this is the gray and red. Closest thing I could come to, so winter. I mean, these work, but I think I'd prefer it in a Gary camo outfit. Which I will probably make eventually. We have no glasses on this one. We do have the white type ski mask. For the gloves, we have the white armor gloves. And for the hat, combat helmet, the white quad lens, useful for fighting if you have if you want thermal vision. And lastly, the little backpack, the parachute for the backpack. Now this does the parachute does work on two separate occasions. So let's actually I want to change. Actually, can I take this off? No, I I messed it up. All right, so we're just gonna use this. So especially parachute. Now it can work, the parachute can work. But I didn't use it on most outfits because it didn't really work as intended. Or it didn't really blend in as much as I thought it would. If you can't find your size, so let's go to the service shirt. Where is it? Peace Digital Service Shirt. It does blend in, but there is no vest that'll blend in as good. So I'm making this outfit right now. And I want to say that the vest doesn't really, none of the vests really fit in as good. Unfortunately. The closest you could probably get is the Peach Play Carrier. But it doesn't really fit. So, boots. See, I think I, I'm gonna use a patch for boots. I don't think the can really cut it. Yeah, nothing's really good. I'm gonna use a stage for the desert patch for boots. There we go. Now, not, I'm, on, I'm, I'm creating this outfit right now. It's just to say that in order to make a good military outfit, you have to make sure everything kind of matches. That's why everything is of the same. That's why everything is of the same camo right here. Because I was also making a good military outfit, either in real life, either both in real life and both in GTA or any tactical game. Although in the tactical ones, it may be a bit more serious because of the environment you're in. Also, if you want to merge a head scarf onto that, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do the telescope glitch. Let's do that. But um, yeah, those are the four outfits. Uh, there are all the preset outfits over there. But yeah, you can create your own outfits. And I created this one to show you that it's not going to be perfect with every camo. Um, but I want to do one more. So here's another one that I've done before. And it's with the woodland. So it's going to white light woodland cargo. And I kind of avoid using this vest just because it has the straps logo on it. If it didn't have the straps logo on it, it'll be it'll be automatically ten times better.
excuse me. There you go, light woolen service shirt. We're gonna have to take off that, um, we're gonna have to take off the parachute. Cause there's not really too much that blends in with it. I guess you can try with the forest combat, but nothing really blends in with it. We're gonna take that off. Now for boots, safe tactical. Going to have to take the helmet off because there's nothing that really goes on with it. So, uh, gloves, like woodland tactical, if I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere up here. There we go. Got to put on the beret because there is no there is no combat helmet. Yeah, some of these look more mercenary like, some of these look more special ops or more conventional military. But yeah, as I was gonna say, not every camo is gonna be perfect, especially with stuff like this. But find what best matches. That's how I make military outfits in GTA. I'll see you in the next one.